Hey guys, what's going on? It's probably around 5 o'clock right now. Uh, this is going to be the new Cards Infinity sign. That is actually going to be painted white. It's a uh, weather, they weather treated it and they said all the chemicals have to soak in and, in a dry spell for like a month or something. Anyway, that whole sign will be painted white. But that's the new Cards Infinity sign. Uh, this is currently in Seven Lakes. As you can see right here across the street is a Seven Lakes uh, living facility. But the address is actually West End, as you can see on that. <laughs> I'm 279 McDougal, West End, North Carolina. But anyway, that's the sign. Over here is the uh, living facility and parking lot. There's three units here. This one's mine. I don't have the open sign on, although I do have the open sign up. I need more logos probably on the uh, outside, but I've been like, for mo two months, I've been messing with this unit. Oh, I got a pothole digger because I had to put a mailbox across the street. Um, but let's go inside. It's kind of smaller than the... Um, it's actually bigger in square footage than the other unit, than the, than the one that I had on Oleander in Wilmington. It's actually bigger than that for the whole thing, but it's broke down into squares. So I think this room is like 550 or 600 square feet, and this is the main store area. Um, I'm waiting on a futon to go there, kind of like my old store, so people can sit here if you want on that table and break stuff. That's a, that's, um, a three shelf thing that I'm probably gonna put a bunch of standard cards or inserts for sale there. Uh, there's my world famous Cisco Art Peyton Manning sketch. Aussie Andy sent me that from the land down under. It's a boomerang. My friend Old Red Nate had this made. I hung it up here. It's um, it's actually a Louisville Slugger with an engraved. I mean, that's like etched in in wood. It's not like a sticker or anything. And my auto, he told me to send me his autograph. That's etched in as well. He knows the people that work for Louisville Slugger or something. Anyway, I got that hanging up there. Oh, here's my card breaker. Oh, got kind of dim over here. Here's my card breaker story from Wilmington. If you guys were following me for a while, you know, Wilmington, North Carolina, they did that write up about, and they actually have the sketch in there. But they did that write up and they put it in the newspaper. Pretty big article about card breaking or whatever. That was a couple years ago. Then you come over here, I put this shelf up. This is going to be all base cards and whatnot. I usually do them 10 cents a card, 10 for a dollar, you know, basically just to unload them. I have not got to that portion yet. There's my friend JPR Joey. He sent me these logo with helmets with my logos a long time ago. They've been in storage when I was doing the breaks from the house there. But these things are like really cool. I love these. And he signed them. JPR Joey, that's the green one. And then this one's pretty wicked too. They're uh scooter or motorcycle helmets anywho i got those displayed up here everybody that sends me a gift i usually display it that's jpr joey everybody knows uh vincent kinkati he's been in every one of my stores except my first one man i was only at my first one for like a year or two and for the last 10 years he's this has been in there i put these logos and my idea of that was i was going to do two shelves full of football Two shelves full of baseball, because typically baseball and football is, produces the most products, it seems like, every year. Seems like there's more baseball and football. Could be wrong on that. Um, then NHL and basketball are going to have one, but I'm already going to have to get two because I use the NHL as hockey and other, which is wrestling and, uh, you know, Walking Dead. I mean, you can look over here. It's Orville, Matt, Star Wars, Masterworks, Bombshells, Wrestling, Rick and Morty. And then there's some hockey. I am gonna get my upper deck licensing back now that I have a card store, so I should start to be able to carry all the hockey products. Speaking of that, I should have Goodwin Champions in this Thursday or Friday. They're approving my license today because they needed pictures and all the proof of having a store. Um, and here, these are the glass cases. Oh, these are some old stickers and stuff. I'll probably put some random other stuff there. There's some magic over here. Those two shelves I was gonna put singles for sale in. I don't do a lot of singles. All this is like randomly signed stuff. I think those are Tim Hardaway balls. Elias. Who is that one? It's got a certificate somewhere with it. I already forgot. It's a hockey player draft day 2013. Panthers. Oh, here's all my pictures. None of the, a lot of, 99% of this stuff is not even for sale. It's just I laid it over here. These are uh, every one of my autograph photographs. I think that was magic. I have like hundreds of them. If you've been on my channel, then you know. We like to play the picture game every now and again. And as you can see, my girlfriend for a birthday present one year, now it's my fiance. She 
took all my pictures out of loaders and put them in this bind these binders. Pretty cool. And there's a bunch of cards in here that I need to go through. I was framing some of them. If you guys, if you watch me on the live feed, you probably know I'm a huge True Romance fan. Um, I.E. Vincent Kincati. There's Drexel, which is played by Gary Oldman, one of the finest actors to ever live. Anyway, I was um, I was uh, framing a lot of my favorite movies. Uh, Zoolander, I was always a big fan of that, stuff like that. So I framed some of them. Then I got some more down here. I think this is one of those things from Super Break. There's uh, MJD. Just random stuff in there. I need to go through all that. In the glass cases over here, I need to get some more product. Once I got moved in, I was going to do some reloads. I got a pretty good amount here, as you can see. There's a decent amount, but need to load up on a little more. Anyway, there's basketball and some hockey in here. Basically, um, I just filled up, like I say, that's all baseball. If, if there is not loose boxes of something, but I have a sealed case, I tried to put it on top. So if someone were to come in, they'd be like, oh, what's in that case? I if it's loose, then I may have another case of it. It's just not out here. Anyway, there's the register. I gotta fix that Cards Infinity logo. It's kinda wacky. The register behind here. I can take you back here. This is the walkway behind. So on and so forth. And what not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Baseball stuff. Football stuff. Um, football right there. Um, over here is going to be the supply wall. There's the air conditioning box. I was uh, actually hanging up my Amen's corner. So I had my drill there. Um, there's some shirts down there. Some packing supplies. In here is technically the break area slash kitchen. I'm using it for a case room right now like leftover cases from random stuff. Oh, all the empty National Treasures boxes are in here. And just some randomly leftover cases. There's some leftover cases over here too behind this board and some other stuff. But yeah, as you can see, it's like a break area room in this building. See this right here is probably another 250 or 300 square feet. You could do something in here like, I don't know, play magic or something. Back here is the uh, warehouse. So I can turn the light on. I keep cameras, they keep cameras. They got these infrared cameras everywhere in here. It just buzzed right now because no one's been back here in 30 minutes. <laughs> There's infrared cameras in all these, all the area of all the store. Anyway, as you can see, I've got to get a dump truck and break all this down. I ripped out the old carpet and put the floor. There's my post thing I just bought from Lowe's today. I got to go out there and dig this to put that mailbox in there so I can have a mailbox. Here's a lot of extra flawless cases throughout the days that are left over. All that's priority shipping supplies, bubble mailers, uh, corrugated boxes, you know, the one row, two row, three row, four row uh, storage boxes. I gotta go through all of those and put those together. This whole wall over here is supplies for the most part, magnetics and um, top loaders and tape and wires and you name it. There's all those boxes are probably full like random base cards or something. Just stuff everywhere, team bags, sleeves. So anyway, that's this back. It's got a roll-up locked door and that thing over there, big exit sign up top. Once again, another big part of the store back there is the bathroom. There's actually a shower back there. Let me show you that. I thought that was pretty neat. <laughs> anyway, you could put storage back here, but it's mainly just for the water heater and stuff. Probably a little 200 square foot, but yeah, there's the toilet area. They actually have a washer and dryer hookup and a shower that's never been used. Still got the tags on it. If you ever, you ever pull something so dirty you gotta go take a shower when you're done, I've got it. And just a little storage racks over there. A little step thing to get up. Anyway, little bathroom back here. Um, that's it for back here for the most part. And like I say, this is the other door to the break room. Place needs a good painting. Might do that one day. And uh, I'll show you the break area to end. Like I say, this is the main store where everybody will hang out and just chill. If I get some customers, I have not advertised yet, so I'm not assuming I'm gonna get a lot of walk-ins. Even in Wilmington, I never advertised, but I did have a, a stragglers that would come in, but most of the business was online, as most of you guys already know. So that's that. Oh, got my jump man over here. I, I bought these vinyl logos. Believe it or not, I think that was like 50 bucks. <laughs> I thought it looked cool though. Michael Jordan. 
he's from the area, from Wilmington. Um, so always got to have some Jordan in here. All those are vinyl too. They were a pain to put up. They're supposed not to damage your wall when you take them down though. Now the breaker room, my bulbs burned out. So I got to go to the store and get those fixed. Two eight foot bulbs. I got to, well, I'm going to get a whole pack of them. I soundproof the wall because there is a business, an engineer business beside me. So I soundproofed that and I came up three squares short, but it still can barely hear the phone ring. And if they play the music really loud over there, which they don't often, but they were last night when I was doing stuff, you can hear that through there. But I think with my TV on up here, some background noise, I don't think it'll be much of a problem. There's the whole, um, whole internet system and hotspot and that kind of box and all that good stuff. This camera, I was gonna to try to run a third camera. It's plugged through there and it goes to the computer. I was gonna to try to run a third camera, post it up here somewhere. Um, so you guys could actually on one of the squares in the live feed you could actually see into the store Because I know back in the day a lot of people like to see the customers that would come in and just you know hear what they had to say So anyway got a new tablecloth blue and I kept my gray mat got this backdrop done from you printing And it's got my Facebook my Twitter and I just got on Instagram not too long ago I should have got on year. I actually signed up years ago, but never made a post and um, so anyway I couldn't even figure out how to get on that count anymore, so I had to go cards underscore infinity. My Twitter is cards infinity and my Facebook's cards infinity. Um, also has a Facebook group, which a lot of people like to chat and joke around on and trade and sell and all that stuff under, uh, if you Google Facebook card, cards infinity groups. There is a group, I didn't put that on there though. Anyway, I did the main big logo. Thanks to Cisco, he hooked this big thing up so it wasn't blurry. Um, oh, there's Stanley, the sword. There's the double monitors. This is all stuff I still have to go through. Supplies, pens, you name it. It's all packed in there somewhere and in the back. Here's all the trophies that's been sent to me. Won a lot of trophies over the years, as you guys are aware. I uh, think R90 Ryan. He's actually building me a new website that is ready to go. R90 is, and uh, we're probably going to make it active tonight. So check out my website, and you can see the new layout. Um, I thought I'd won an Angie's Award. Um, and actually, it was my next door neighbor. So when I opened it up, I'm like, oh, man, I got an Angie's Award. This is cool. For like customer service or something, I thought I wanted it for. Couldn't find out it was the neighbor next door. They accidentally delivered it to my place. So R90 Ryan sent me not Angie's List, best online card shop. <laughs> but I didn't make Angie's List. And then this is Fong sent this over. Lube, KJ and Lou Bob won the spelling bee one year. And... Fung also sent me first place for having the ugliest thumbs in the game. Miss Ugly Thumbs. So there's my three awards. Very prestigious. Oh, there's a panini hat. Here's computer number two. So whenever you hear me say, oh, got to upload videos, I take the camera I'm currently shooting on. I plug it into this wire right here. It pulls the wire to that computer. And... Um, that's where I upload them. That's where I, when you see me leave the camera, that's typical RAM. There's like I say, every room has these infrared cameras in them. They got these high plugs too on the walls. So it beeps all the time. If there's no movement in the store in 20 minutes, it gives beeps and then videotapes to an iCloud, which is pretty cool. So you can just watch whatever's going on. A lot of times, to be honest, this this light will come through that door, like a car light turning from that, uh, that living facility across the street. A light will turn through that door and, um, Got another camera over there too. Um, a light will turn through that door and uh, it'll, it'll flash light in here and they, these motion cameras that are way up there, these motion cameras will start beeping and telling me I got somebody in the store. When actuality it's just the lights, but I check it every time anyway. And I believe that's enough for Emily. This is another six foot table that I was gonna put some $3, $5 dollar cards out when I get time. And yeah, this is the floor I laid. I took all the old carpet out. It used to be carpet like that. I peeled it all up and put down all this floor. Like I say, follow me on my Facebook uh, group. I update it. I do a lot of updates there when it comes to like the store updates and whatnot. So anyway, that is it for the new cards, Infinity. Like I say, I will have that shelf full of supplies soon. I'll have all those full of like standard loose cards. I'll have some higher dollar cards, you know, $20, $50 cards in there. And I gotta move all that stuff out. And then I'll have some over here, some dollar, 50 cent, $3, $5. And as the time progresses, I'm sure more and more stuff will get added in. I'm probably gonna move these together and put at least one to two more shelves to split up hockey and other. Because we got two for football, two for baseball, one for basketball, and one for hockey. 
probably need to split those up and uh, I could at least have two, one for hockey, one for other, and one for bat. Maybe two for basketball too. I don't know. I'll figure it out. That's it. Enough rambling. I hope everybody likes the store. Let me know what you think down below if you would. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Should be live tomorrow from the new store. Cards and Vinity Part 2. See ya.